I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent pass. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen and then I'll go to the present time. The person you're dealing with, how they see you, how you see them, and why it's all happening. So, Taurus, in the recent past, we have watch and then deception. So, deception, it reads, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So you could have been dealing with someone in the recent past who you had a hard time maybe believing what they said or you just felt like something wasn't right or you just knew that there was deception. You knew this and you um, maybe you just stayed with this person until you could uh, figure things out but um, yeah deception it's about someone who was wearing a false mask now this could have been you or this could have been maybe the person that uh, you were dealing with now this deception card it's paired with watch and on the flip side of watch it reads, watch for a miracle, coincidences are divinely inspired moments de designed to remind us that a higher power is guiding our lives. So basically, with this deception in your, in your world at that time, uh, you needed to be watchful. Watch for coincidences um, in this connection or the situation if that's what it was it doesn't have to be a person it could be a situation that you thought there was a lot of deception in so just watch just be watchful keep your eyes open uh, listen very carefully and um, just know that any coincidence that you picked up from what you were watching or what you were trying to figure out they were inspired moments to remind you that a higher power was guiding you so yeah that would have been very important to stay watchful with this deceptive person or situation in the recent past because you would have been guided you would have been guided to the right path so that's what we have for your recent past, Taurus. Some deception there, and you just needed to be very watchful because you were being guided. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at the present time. We have the, yeah, this is the Devil card. And then we have the Tower. So, for uh, March, probably towards the end of March, uh, with this devil card I'm picking up that you probably need to know that you have options to choose from. You'll be having options. But the first things first, um, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, make sure you're coming to that conclusion on your own. Regardless, it will be crucial to remember that you'll be able to free yourself from whatever restrictions that are holding you back in March or like I said it could be towards April you'll be able to free yourself from whatever you feel like is holding you back at any time you choose to do so you could start to feel that you're not in control of your life sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions but more often it's usually because of no action, inaction. So you want to make sure you're taking action, whatever steps you can to give yourself a feeling like you're in control. Even if it's a choice on 
what you're going to have for dinner. Just know, small steps, they are very important. Baby steps are very good too. When you get the devil card and it talks about love and relationships, you or your person, you might have been, or you might be to the point where you feel as though you're trapped in the situation. If you're getting the signal, and if this is the case, you might really need to try to talk. Not pull them over to the side. We need to talk if you want to save the relationship. Because this card, it can also mean that sometimes there's really nothing that can be done but to end an unhappy relationship. We all have choices, and we know this, so it's about taking steps to keep the magic alive. Now, this devil card is paired with the tower. So the tower is basically about trying to hold too tight to the status quo, which can be a disaster. So you're going to have to remember, if you do experience a, a tower moment in March, um, make sure you roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there for you in quite the same way. Now, this doesn't have to be drastic. Change is the nature of life. So if you think you can try to prevent it, let me tell you. It's going to be, it's going to feel like trying to row upstream without a paddle. You can't prevent it. It's just the nature of life. And... If you have been trying to do something or work on something, building castles in the air or whatever you're trying to do, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. But keep in mind, it's only going to be a problem. If you let it be, you will definitely be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if some fantasies fall apart this month. So, just don't be afraid to dream. It's important. But it's also important to be living in a reality, too. So, when you get this uh, tower card and it talks about love and relationships, it's an indicator that a relationship could be in the process of ending. If you're in a relationship that you absolutely, positively don't want to see in, um, this is an important time for damage control. Clear communications. A lot of talking. Like I said, pull them over to the side. You got this in your, uh, with a double card too. You need to do a lot of talking. Find out how your partner is feeling doing and don't make assumptions. Find out for sure. So for the present time, the devil card. Did I say death? But it's the devil card. I hope I didn't say death. Okay, present time you have the devil card, D-I-V-I-L, and then the tower. So it's basically saying that you could be dealing with some type of addictions, maybe greed, envy, materialism, some obsessions, maybe sexual lust. And it's making you feel like you're out of control. Your life is not... It's, it's just out of whack. But you're in control and um, you just have to take baby steps to get back on track. Maybe. Or take big steps. It just depends on you. Um, devil energy could be overeating. Um, which is making you unhealthy. Could be things like that. Devil energy. Addictions. Uh, you know. Um, Doing things in, in, uh, overly excessive about something. Uh, it could be dealing with something like that, or you could be feeling this way towards the end of March about something. Or you're just dealing with some type of addictions that's been going on for a while. And then you have this tower moment here. Um, 
Some things are, may, may start to come crashing down on you because of these addictions. Yeah. Because, just because of these addictions, some things are going to um, come crumbling down for a lot of you, Taurus. But then, with the Tower card, it brings enlightenment by this disaster. So you'll be awakened. Okay, then it's going to be up to you what you decide to do with this awakening. You could uh, replace them with some more, replace whatever came crashing down, replace them with more realistic and reachable dreams and deal with your addictions and start all over again. So it's only going to be a problem if you let it be. But with this tower moment, you'll, you'll be realizing that these addictions greed, envy, obsessions, sexual loss is not working for you. So maybe it will turn your life around in a, in a good way. Now, once again, that's for some of you, Taurus, not all of you. And that's what we have for the present time. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they view you. They view you as a two of swords and the moon. Now, the two of swords... It's about your partnerships that are going somewhat well, whether they're friendships, romantic, or business. So you might want to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these relationships and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your people or by your partner. If you are not being treated as an equal when you get this Two of Swords, it could be time to bring things back into balance. This will require open communication on your part. So a lot of talk and discussions. Um, nothing changes without effort. And when this Two of Swords talks about love and relationships, it's very good romantically. Very good. Especially... I say very good, especially if the romance is already in existence. Because this card, it's, it shows that your relationship moves into a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with treating each other as equals. So, if there's some single Taurus out there and you get the Two of Swords, it basically means that if you're looking for love, you might need to take a hard look at yourself and see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with first. Okay, so don't look for someone to complete your life because a life partner does not complete you. Uh, a partner is like icing on the cake, and I'm sure you know this. It's like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So you want to make sure you're not looking outside yourself for happiness when you get this two of swords and this is how your person is seeing you they see you as wanting to move this connection into a more balanced phase and um, they also could see you as yeah, making a difficult choice with um, this connection because the two of swords is possibly, possibly ignoring some warning signs so you're making a difficult choice to work on this connection to bring it to more to more to a more balance to more balanced phase so that's how they see you that's why you got the swords there you know those are all those are always um, tools they're like sharp tools so that's why they could be possibly seeing you as like I said ignoring some warning signs but making the choice to bring this connection to a balance phase. So you're dealing with some issues, but you're, 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 um, 
and you're aware of it, you're dealing with some issues in this connection, but you're making the choice to to work on it and balance it out so that it will become lighter, easier. They also see you as this moon card. Now the moon card, it's about a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can become heated, uncomfortable, so take a break if you feel that's what you need to do. Don't make assumptions. You might want to try to fight fairly. If you're going to fight at all, pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in too much of a hurry to end or to begin the relationship, though. This is probably not the best time of either course of action. Now, the moon card is how they see you along with this Two of Swords. They see you as possibly um, not always saying how you really feel. Uh, there's probably a feeling like there could be some deception there, that you could be wearing a mask. And we talked about this in the recent past. Yeah, we did go over deception there. So, they're strongly picking up that you're not, probably not um, being um, that honest and that they might have some trust issues with you or you're feeling that um, or they, they're seeing you as having trust issues, mistrusting this connection. And um, because it's with this Two of Swords, uh, they see you as ignoring this at times. You're making a difficult choice to, like I said, balance out these trust issues and work with them on any type of deception that you're feeling that they're, they're bringing to this connection. So they see you as working on it, working on this connection with um, some issues. So that's what we have, Taurus, for how they see you. Now let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as this Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So I don't know if you can see this better with the light on or the light off because the light on gives a glare. So I'm gonna turn it off for the second half, just in case there was a glare. Now you maybe you can see the cards better, I hope. So you see your person as a Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands is still about balance, um, keeping your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Um, the Two of Wands indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business, personal, or both. Uh, you have to be mindful when you get the Two of Wands of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So it's once again, it's what we just talked about, finding balance. Um, if things are feeling out of balance, just know that they're about to get substantially better with the Two of Wands. So things get better. Make sure you keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. And just stay positive. Now when the Two of Wands talks about love and relationships, it's about to get a lot more, it's about to get more equal. Yeah. Pay attention to your ideas about equality and balance them. Share them. Now, if there's some single Taurus, I have to say this, if you get the Two of Wands, like you are, if there's some single ones out there listening, this means that if you're looking for love or a relationship, someone who could be very good for you, this person is really good for you, um, they're probably already a part of your world. They're already in your life and you just don't, you don't know it. But this person is good for you, so make sure you're not judging a book by its cover. If someone's interested in you, you just might want to give them a chance. This relationship could be just what you've been looking for. So, 
you're seeing your person like this two of wands you view them like also trying to bring balance into this connection so you see them as wanting to have a future with you trying to make this connection work you see them as wanting to seize this opportunity which is you now this two of wands is also with the ten of wands it's about a hardship in a relationship when you get the ten of wands it can be that you're a person they're undergoing a rough time and it has nothing to do with the relationship but needs your support more than often it indicates that there could be something in the relationship that needs to be examined looked at and considered just know that you will not gain anything you will not gain by pretending that there are no problems so you see them as a ten of wands also so you see them as two of wands and you see them as ten of wands so like i said the ten of wands um you see them as carrying some type of heavy burden and that they need to pace themselves um possibly there could be some rough times in this connection but you see them as uh, still wanting to plan and make a future with you and you see them as um, trying to seize this connection uh, keep it going make it better make it more equal but um, you do see them as carrying a heavy load about this connection about this relationship so um yeah something weighs them down a lot of times with this connection uh, like if you can see the picture this man is walking forward with these wands in his hand but he's about to fall backwards so you're seeing them as this they're just being weighed down could be by things that are going on in this connection or it could be by something else but you know that they have a heavy burden a lot of times but the good thing is that you do know that they want to um, keep this connection going and bring it into the future and balance it out so let's take a look at why it's all happening it's happening due to the page of wands and judgment now the page of wands they're about people being warm ambitious high achievers if this is not an actual person in your life it's about the energy of easy distractions so it's about trying to stay focused uh, this card indicates that some things that you started some time ago they could be starting to come to life come to fruition it can also mean that there's a need for new things new adventures new approaches new ideas this page page of wands it brings a very positive energy but you have to supply the follow-through you have to do that to see results when the page of wands talks about love relationships Uh, messages of love affection love and affection they're they're coming your way uh, it's coming in and if you're single and you get the page of wands a new love a new suitor is coming in and this person you have a lot in common with they'll be all they'll also be very adventuresome so they could be about to burst into your world you might want to take a chance on them but only if you're available if you are committed and you get the page of wands and unhappy now will be the time to begin deciding if the relationship can be saved and how long you're going to try to make it happen 
because we all know both parties they have to be willing to work in a relationship and if your partner is not it may be time to move on so this is why it's happening well one of the reasons why um, there's a need to stay focused because you or your person can get easily distracted by life or things or people somebody gets easily distracted they could be like the curious type um, um, it's happening because uh, page of wands brings a lot of passion to take action so there's a lot of passion in this connection and um, there's uh, excitement you or your person brings excitement or either they're excited about this they're still excited about this um, connection and they, they want to bring love and affection they want to keep the love and affection going now this page of wands is why it's happening but it's also happening due to judgment now judgment it's a it's about a make or break period in a relationship this would be a time that you need to get really clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships then take steps to make it come about and if you're looking for new love if you're a single Taurus a relationship could come in the near future but you could need to you may need to take steps to make sure you're not jumping to conclusions positive or negative so it's why it's all happening is like I said the page of wands there's still passion there uh, there's um, still a lot of excitement in this connection um, but there's a need to stay focused so someone gets easily distracted distracted and then we have someone with this judgment card that um, probably does a lot of jumping to conclusions and they need to probably uh, give more chances that's what judgment is about trying to give more chances judgment is about forgiveness redemption so it's happening because of this uh, with this jumping to conclusions it sometimes causes this connection or relationship to be a make or break period but um, um, so so with this page of wands it also causes you or your person to um, having it causes you or your person to have a difficult time staying focused but the good thing about why it's happening is that there's still passion there you your person or the both of you want to continue to explore this connection but sometimes it's at a make or break period because there needs to be forgiveness redemption and um, that's due to someone's always jumping to conclusions so you might want to when you do this practice more forgiveness it just depends on what the situation is because um, it causes make or break periods and that's why it's happening so overall we got some devil energy some addictions here that um, causes a tower moment in the present time but it brings an awakening it brings a real big awakening somebody is is finally awoke now because of this tower moment and then we got someone feeling that there's deception in this connection and someone's also carrying a heavy burden in this connection um, and there was a lot of needing to bring balance in this connection bringing balance was on both sides for you and for them so 
there's a lot of jumping to conclusions with this judgment. So there's probably um, a need to practice forgiveness and uh, redemption. But the good thing, like I said, is that you've got this page of wands. It brings a lot of passion. And um, um, wanting to take action. Um, wanting to continue to explore this connection. Um, being excited about this connection. So Page of Wands is, is really good for you in this reading. Uh -huh. So... When we talked about the recent past, there was some deception, so I don't know if you're still with the same person, but then we did get this moon card for how they see you, and that's about deception. But like I said, overall, this Page of Wands is standing strong for you, Taurus, in this relationship, so there's a lot of excitement to keep it going, to keep this connection going. So... Um, a lot of passion to take action, to um, bring new adventures, new approaches to this connection. So that's what I have for you for March, the end of March. It could go towards um, the beginning of April. Time is fluid in this reading, so uh, like I said, maybe towards April. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Taurus. There'll be a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go through how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and why, I'm sorry, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link for personal readings. Um, and I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope that 2020 is going well for you. I hope that you're having a great day. And I hope that March is a beautiful month for you. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. And have a great day.